Hey Listed, welcome to my home. Come on in. I am Allie Provost. Welcome to my New York apartment located on the Upper East Side. It is a one bed, one bath apartment. I've lived here for about two years, so I'm going to show you a really fun walkthrough of my space, share a little bit more about how I got here, some really fun design tips and tricks that may or may not involve a lot of wallpaper. So let's take a tour and let's get started. So this is the first thing you see when you walk into my apartment. Obviously there is no shortage of color, florals, or prints here. This space is anchored by this amazing built-in that I did that hides not only a lot of my <laughs> miscellaneous seasonal accessories over here, but also some very functional camera gear as well. And then on top we have a little bit more decoration with some books, some trinkets that I have found throughout my travels. My friends have all sent me some of their artwork that I can display. It's a really fun, um, almost like a collage of all of my favorite things. On the other side of the, or really more so the center, is this round table that I absolutely love. But I love having this be a very great center focal point for the space. And of course, topped by the lovely chandelier, which really is a really great entrance to the rest of the space. On the other side of the foyer, we have this adorable seating area, which is pretty much where I throw my coat and my shoes when I get home because I'm not gonna immediately hang things up. But I love having this cake piece. I had this cake piece at my last apartment. It is a photograph by Sharon Kaur and it's made to look like a Wayne Thiebaud painting. And if you're not familiar with Wayne Thiebaud, he is an amazing painter and did a lot of these cake pieces. And then below this is this really fun bench. I love the cane detail and the, you know, the um, details of it. I think it's really fun. So before we jump to the bedroom, I do wanna show one of my favorite little details of the apartment are these really cool light switches from Buster and Punch. I love just that they add a lot of visual interest to something that most people try to hide, but I love how it just adds a little pop to the space. Okay, so this is my bedroom, and especially compared to the foyer wallpaper, Although this is also a very bold wallpaper, it's much calmer in terms of the tones. And I love that we paired it with this contrasting blue to pull out the blue tones of the wallpaper. And in this room, it's nice to just kind of decompress throughout the day. I have much softer tones here, so it's very relaxing. The first thing that you see when you walk in is my dresser, which is absolutely jam-packed. So on my dresser, I have just a few knickknacks, my little um, vintage perfume tray. I have a few of my favorite headbands. This is actually a self-portrait that I did for an art project. And then I have this giant lamp, which is so cool. Um, it's hand-painted by this artist, and I think it's just the perfect pairing with the wallpaper. Okay, so over here we have my window, which has a lot of natural light being let in. It's a key. And then I love this wall that is basically just a continuous feature of the wallpaper. And then we have these really fun prints of like basically like plants. That's the only word I know for them. So yeah, <laughs> but I found these on Etsy and I had them printed or uh, framed by my local framer. And I think they just add the perfect amount of touch and a uh, little femininity to the space. So over here, I have two nightstands flanking the bed, which is very helpful. These are giant and they hold a lot of storage for me. In New York, obviously, you have to have multi-purpose pieces that not only are beautiful, but also have a lot of storage. So we have that here with these. All right, and before we leave my bedroom, I would be remiss if I did not mention my hat wall, which is obviously ginormous. I have a really fun collection of hats and it's fun to see them not only displayed this way, but it almost serves as another piece of artwork. Yeah. 
As many New York apartments, there is very little cooking that actually goes on in here, but I love how much space there is. There's so much storage. So if I do ever feel like cooking one day, I do have the possibility to do so. The first benefit of this kitchen that I love is obviously the wine fridge. That was definitely a selling point for me when I got the apartment. And throughout the rest of the space, I just have a lot of knickknacks. Obviously we need a microwave. Behind me is a very great feature for New York apartments is a window. It is so nice to have a window in a kitchen because most kitchens don't even have any bit of natural light. And then behind me, I have a New Yorker Nowhere print and then just a few books and little knickknacks. It's a really nice space, it's very calming. And it's almost, I think the only neutral space in this apartment. So it serves almost as a breath throughout all of the color and the print and the wallpaper. That's just nice. So from the kitchen, we then go down into the largest room, which is the combination living room and dining room. It's probably where I spend most of my time just hanging out, chilling, have friends over. This is pretty much the central hub of the entire apartment. The reason I laid it out like this was because we needed to fit a lot of furniture in a moderate amount of space. So the way I separated that is that I have my table lengthwise and then over in the living area, I separated that by just having an area rug to define each space the way it is. So in the living room, my favorite, favorite, favorite piece in this entire space has to be this coffee table. This is my pride and joy. I love how it's made of all marble. And then I really wanted to keep the top of the table very simple to showcase how intricate the table is. In my apartment, I really like combining both modern and antiques. And even if it's not a true antique, I want it to feel like it could be an antique. I love this chair from Anthropology. It feels like it could possibly have been, you know, from the 1890s. And I just absolutely love the way it incorporates into the space. Of course, we have my little reading light to pair with it. And then we have a very modern TV, which of course is the frame TV. It's a Samsung frame TV that when it's off, it looks like it's a picture. I absolutely love it because I hate the look of actual TVs. So having this here is a really great option for when I don't wanna to have to look at a TV. Underneath the TV is a true antique. This is something that I sourced from an antique account that I found on Instagram based out of Atlanta. I use this to store all of my linens, extra boxes, extra silverware, anything that I could possibly need for a dinner party because we love a dinner party. And of course, in New York, you have to have things that are multifunctional. So this serves both as a great decor piece and functional storage. I have these really gorgeous giant windows that basically let in so much light in New York. That's like the only thing that I really had a big requirement for was uh, a window that had a lot of natural light. So when it comes to the walls in this space, I really wanted a break from all of the prints that were going around throughout the rest of the apartment. This is a amazing grass cloth wallpaper from Schumacher that still feels like it's paint almost from afar, but it has this really fine texture. When you get close to it, it just feels very intricate and, and detailed. So then from the living room, I wanna show you my favorite room on the entire apartment. This is basically the crown jewel of the space, my clothes. It is a combination of closet and office. So obviously we have my desk where I do a lot of my editing and my photo work, but it is also a, almost like a mini boutique, the way I have it set up of all of my poofy dresses, my gowns, some fun novelty bags. Yes, a lot of these are bags, which I definitely have to show you guys. Okay, so in my treasure trove of a clothes, I have, these are called novelty bags, which are basically clutches that do not look like clutches, but are in fact a clutch. So then when it comes to the clothes, I basically have a built-in clothing rack. In my last apartment, I had clothing racks in the middle of my apartment. So creating a built-in here that was able to fit all of my poofy dresses 
was definitely key and very much essential. This side of the office, we have every content creator's mandatory accessory, which is of course a full length mirror with natural light facing you. I love the little wave to it. And the one thing that we did in this apartment, or especially this room specifically that I really loved, was we added this picture frame molding on this high gloss paint where we didn't use wallpaper on the walls, but we did add it to the ceiling, which is very fun. Uh, I think it's just funny that every single room in this apartment basically has wallpaper. So the last thing that I'll show you guys in this room is of course the desk, which is the center point of this entire room. I am a photographer and a content creator, so I do all of my photo editing here. And it's really also amazing to have a Zoom background that looks like this. It makes me feel extra fancy when I'm on any call. And then of course we have my very fun chair. That, and I think it's the perfect finishing touch to the space. All right, guys, that was my apartment. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to follow along with me on my journeys and all of my fashion adventures at Ali Provost on Instagram and Ali.Provost on TikTok. Feel free to like and subscribe to this video and let us know in the comments what your favorite part of the apartment was. It better be the closet, otherwise we can't be friends. Mm -hmm.